Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already completed that register, locking, and also the, all that file structure behind for our Laravel breeze. Now in this video, I want to discuss about that email reset option. Like as I told you before, if you go to that logging page, I have already one of the user as a user at gmail.com and I have already put one of the password. By default, there is also another part as a forget your password. So if you want to make it as a forget your password, if you want to reset that password, first of all, you have to understand how that structure actually working. Like for the forget password, you can see there is one of the reset password option. There is a reset password and there is a forget password. So for the forget password is working as an auth and one of the controller as a password reset link controller. And there is a create method. There is a store method, right? that is in our file if you go to our controller auth and that is our another one as a password reset link you can see that is on the create method that will be created on the auth forget password it will be stored that as the email data so everything is ready made okay and also it will be provided that email so if you want to provide it that email right now i want to do i want to use um, as a mail trip okay here i want to do and to get that our mail is totally free simply create your one of the account okay so i have already created one of the account when you create this account you will get this type of one of the interface and if you go to that as a demo inbox first of all we have to do we have to configure it okay so if you go to that smtp setting into the smtp setting i am using that php as a laravel 7 plus so i simply select it you can see it's now provided one of the mailer as a smtp the mailing host they have some of the port mail username mail password so that is for me okay so when you create another new one it might be changed so now first of all and to set up it we have to set up it in our dot env file you can see it's also provided the suggestion in your dot env file area here you have to update now let's go to our dot env file into the dot env and there have already one of the area you can see that is one of the smtb as a mail mailer that is on mailer or we have to do have to update it that is a mail mailer as a smtp and then our host name we have to update i simply copy it and our host name i name it i name it as a smtp mailer trip dot o that io and then the mail port mail port also we have to update mail port will be as a 2525 I want to use it as a 2525 username username as a this one I copy it so that will be our username I want to update that our password so that will be as a password and mail encryption mail encryption will be as a TLS I copy it now that will be as a TLS and from to the which mail you want to provide it I want to do and to provide as a support whatever the name actually you choose I make it as a support at the rate easy learning bd.com okay so that will be our mail that will be from mail okay so that's all friend that's all you have to do and mail from to the name so if you want to change that name that is one of the name a variable as a app name if you select it that is the app name so if you want to change that name as per your demand you can change it right now i make it as easy okay i make it as easy learning so that will be our app name great so friend that's all you have to do when you configure everything perfectly now click click as a save all okay click the save all now i want to do to check it everything is working perfectly or not now i refresh it okay I refresh it now i want to do i want to I have already created on the user i have already created that user email as user at gmail.com for this user i want to reset that password as i told you everything is ready made here only you have to write down that name so I name it as a user, okay, user at the gmail.com. And from here, if you now send it as a email password reset link, so if you select it, that means if you click it on here, and you can see it's now successfully saying that there is a forget password, and then you, we have emailed your password reset link everything is ready mate. you can see now if you go to our mail now that should be one of the new mail you can see now that is a preset password notification so now if you open it and now that is our easy learning i have already updated our app name our app name is visible in here and you can see it's now display as a this password link reset expired into the 16 minute and that is the reset password button so if you click as a reset password button it will be written redirect to your local host 
localhost and you can see that is another form that is another form that is email is automatically save it in here now you have to use it your new password and then the confirm password so that is also another view page right you will get that view page simply go to that view that means in our resources and there is a view and then auth as i told you that is one of the locking page there is a register page and also you can see there is a forget password page and into the forget password page that have only one of the field i have already sent that mail and when that will be done and also that is another page there is another page as a reset password you can see there is a reset password page and for the reset password view page is actually this one that is a reset password and here you can see there is one of the email address that is one of the password and there is another confirmation password so right now that is the page is loaded right friend now what to do i want to reset before i use that as a udemy one two three four five right now i make it as one two three four five six and also i want to confirm it as a one two three four five six now if you click as a reset password you can see it's automatically also get that validation that is some of the default validation as a the password must be at least eight characters i have used that six characters for the reasons it's already get that our validation i make it as one two three four five six seven eight okay and also i make it as one two three four five six seven eight now if you click as a reset password yes you can see in your car password has been updated right it's now displayed that means our your password has been updated now if you logging again with this user i simply logging with this user and before i use that as a udemy one two three four five now if you want to check it yeah you can see our password is now successfully updated you are not able to log in your previous password so right now i have already set new password as one two three four five six seven eight and now if you click as a login now that should be redirected to our dashboard page perfect so right now here we are able to successfully update our password okay in this video i hope it's very much clear to you how can um you, how you can deal with your forget password and also how you can reset your password through the mail so perfect so here we successfully done this job so you know next video i want to discuss about if you want to verify your email how you can verify your email in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video